Good morning, this is Rick from Green Our Planet, and I'm in the garden this morning um, renewing a iris bed. And I thought I'd run you through a few of the steps so that you could do this at home without uh, the anxiety or the worry that you're going to ruin something. So let me get this phone turned around and I'll show you some of the steps that I'm going through. So when you're taking the iris out of the bed, um, you don't want to worry about hurting them too much. What I've done here is I've taken the shovel and I've just inserted it just under or outside of the iris bed. And I work it under there just to get the clump loosened from the ground. You're not going to get them all at once. You're going to get a few. There we go. And then what you'll see is you go in, and I would caution you to wear gloves because you never know what's in here. Uh, this particular bed has seen some scorpion activity, so I usually have those on. But for the sake of holding the camera, I do not. So, you've got your iris out. What you want to do is you want to look it over real good. Make sure that there's nothing on it that's going to hurt you. And then you want to remove all of these brown leaves. Just pull them off, yank them off. And what you'll be left with is this. See, it's pretty clean. Haven't hurt too many roots. Now I'm going to trim these roots off. Um, not completely, but I am going to trim them off enough so that... Uh, it's a nice complete package so that's what I'm left with after I've cleaned everything off and this is a box of what I'm left with after I'm all done with that so I've trimmed the roots a little bit you can see that they're all uniform length I've trimmed the tops a uniform length I tend to be guided by the new growth that's coming up from the rhizome this this is the rhizome here and I'll usually cut them about that. You see that one whole leaf right there in the center? I'll usually cut the rest of the leaves to kind of match that. It's not, it's not a science. You can cut them any length you want. Just make sure you don't cut them too close to this rhizome here. And that is a finished rhizome. Here's another one. You can see these are cut just a bit shorter on the roots, but same idea on the top. The new leaves I left alone, and that's a rhizome that can be replanted somewhere else in your yard. These will sit good for if you're in a shady place or if you keep them in a box of um, moist sand or sawdust, they'll keep for quite a while. Um, I've kept them over an entire season and replanted them in the spring again uh, here in Nevada. I can put them right back in the bed. And this is a bed that I redid last week. You can see that we're starting to get a little leaf fall. And you can see that they take the transplanting quite well. There's no transplant shock or anything. You just pop them right back in the ground and give them a little bit of water and they bounce right back. And these will be good for another two, three years until the crowns start to get crowded like this one. You don't ever want to let them get this bad. Uh, I really waited too long to break these clumps up. Once you, uh, once you start to see your flowers diminish, if you're only seeing them in spots in the clump, then just dig it up. Check your, uh, check your local guide on what time is correct for your particular area and just dig them up. Just do it. It's a real quick, easy process. Uh, you probably spend a couple hours doing it. A couple hours in the garden isn't so bad, right? So that's how to remove, clean, trim, store. Iris.